Okay, this is my system sensor, uh, spectral alert, ceiling mount strobe. It's a horn strobe fire alarm, and I finally own it. So, what? how I wired it is there is like, there's like, I think it was one negative wire and two positive wires. That's how I say it, but somewhere, but you, you can figure out where they are yourselves. Don't want to undo stuff. So, and the problem I'm having is this. Yes, is this Edwards uh, pull station is on backwards in order to backwards because it, it says normal on this, but it would still originally go off, which I wired it to this tester, so it it will it's go on backwards. So if I knew how to, it would be make more sense that you just closed it and pulled it, and then it would go off. So here we go. Let's try and make it go off. Three, two, one. As you see, you can only hear the auditory noise. Okay, as you see, you can only the thing. The reason why it's very loud is another is because you're it's designed so that you can hear in like an auditorium or something like that. So that's my fire alarm. Hope you enjoy and comment below if you ever have one and it does the same. Or can you program an evacuation message because I'm trying to make this uh, alarm once I get the control panel for it is I want to try to make it play just Amoeba Baby, you know, when they like have a like, you know, one of these cords that comes out of the panel chips and you can like plug your laptop or phone or iPod in there and then play just Amoeba Baby. So let me know if you have one or where to get one and I want to get some more because I got this at a, uh, you know, one of these fire alarm people in my, in where I live. So I got like from one of those, like, you know, there was this big brown building in London. So that's where I got it. Hope you enjoyed the video and comment below about what you thought of it.